Hello people, how are you doing? I'm up in a loft, about to introduce the next video for the job I'm going to next. Um, oh, asbestos flew there. Hmm. I've seen one of them in a while and gladly not steer clear. Anyway, um, next one is a glowworm boiler strip service on an energy. Don't think I've ever actually done one before. So be a learning curve for me maybe one for you i don't know but yeah hopefully you enjoy it it's getting this five year seal change um fitted a few but never actually stripped one apart so that'd be quite fun quite interesting to do see you at the end let me know what you think don't forget to subscribe thank you got a nice little glowworm energy to service here it's been in six years Energy system boiler goes to the inside. In decent condition, so we're going to be replacing the burner seal and cleaning out contents, doing our analyzer checks. And yeah, first off, let's wipe the power off. Then you'll be carrying out your safe isolation. I'm not going to film all of that, but yeah, that's what we do. Then you've got a couple of screws or bolts up there, and the plate comes off together. We we'll take the air box off, and that'll give you a bit more space to access everything. Now at this stage, and those knots at the back, and as you can see, don't go right the way through. Got to give them a wheel with pull. We are finally got it out. So the front two holes don't do the nut. The back two knots onto the that back right one was a bit of a pain. So you have it underneath. There's your old seal. Further in here. Side. Keep that little brush, little brush through. Got a brush down there. Even I'll burn our brush out, so I'll put it back in there. I'm going to change your seal. So here they are, you got two seals on there, one for the outer and one for the inner. Let's pop that out. Outer rubber one. Let's put in this. And your inner. Uh, let me double check the seal so that's going to slide in and then clamp down on the new nuts. Well, the old nuts, but let's see if we can get this in. One hand, first try. Of course, we can't. <laughs> no, this is going to need two hands. Hold on.
back it's all back in there all tightened up on the whole um, I kind of these boilers but that is a pain to get that burner door out I don't think it needs to be that hard but no it is what it is um, anyway gas is back on and tested it's all good there connect up the fan put the air covers back on I can do finalizer checks so all back up and running, got the copper case on, carry out the analyzer checks, and then that's it, that's done. There's the old seals. Clean out the content. All done. So I forgot to mention that the customer reported a rumbling sound sometimes when it was firing, so we had to adjust the CO content a little bit, which is by this one here, we had to raise it slightly. But now we're testing on minimum. Now let's test the maximum. So we're looking for a value of 9.2 in the CO. So we're gonna need to raise that. And that is done, as I say, a little bit different to the usual ones we see, um, not done an energy strip service, not that I can remember anyway, maybe I have, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it, and hopefully I'll see you next week.